Hello, YouTube land. So check this out, right? So, <laughs> so me and Power Smart, we're getting this little relationship thing going on, you know? And they're sending me these like big mowers and big heavy mowers. And uh, you know, big heavy mowers with big powerful engines. And what does that mean? It means if you don't have a battery and a key, then you better have something more than these noodle arms to start them. And I'm like, I'm thinking to myself, if these noodle arms are struggling, then I can only imagine the noodle arms on some of you people. And I've seen some of you people and you guys have some noodle arms. There's, in fact, your noodle arms are so noodle arms, they're gluten-free noodle arms. So I'm proud of you on that because gluten is the devil. Um, but so I said, hey, chick over at PowerSmart who hooks me up with all this equipment. That's what we'll call her. I said, hey, chick. How about you send me something with a little bit less motor, a little bit less compression, so it's a little bit easier to pull. And she was like, would you like this? And I was like, yes, that's perfect. It's 170 cc instead of 209 cc. And you might ask yourself, well, what's the difference? Um, math, <laughs> it's less powerful. So a little bit less power, a little bit less compression, a little bit easier pull, all right? So kind of like, Think about like a weed eater. You could pull a weed eater really easy. Um, but trying to trying to pull start a big zero turn engine, it's gonna be very difficult to do. Same rules apply with a little push mower. You got a big engine on a push mower, it's gonna be a little bit harder to start. A little bit smaller engine, a little bit easier to start. So for all you people that have noodle arms that wanna get out there and cut your yard this year, boy, this street's kind of busy. Bunch of school buses and stuff going by. I got this mower to show you guys, to demonstrate for you. Uh, so we're gonna unbox, we're gonna assemble, uh, and you know, just go through it and make sure that you guys have a good understanding of this. So PowerSmart has the 209cc mower that I love. It's got the, the horizontal shaft. Um, we've beaten that mower up already in enough videos. So um, this one here now is a standard vertical shaft, regular, lawnmower, but it is 22 inches. So that's good. 22 is good. Um, it is self-propelled also good. Um, and it is 170 CC four stroke gas engine. So should be a little bit easier. So what do you say we tear into this thing? They've also sent me some other stuff that we're going to get into at a later time. So they asked me to schedule my videos out on release dates. So it's actually called an embargo. Um, so they don't want me releasing videos until they are, they have the market flooded with equipment ready for sale. Because right now, if you look on their website at this time of day, at this time of the month, February, they actually have all this stuff listed as unavailable because it's not available yet. So they sent this stuff out to a few of us influencers to, um, Check it out, show you guys how it assembles, demo it a little bit for you, and give you guys an opportunity to um, want it. So when they pull the trigger and make it available, you guys will buy it. So smart marketing. Um, so I am limited as to what I can put up, but I do have more equipment sitting right there off camera, and it's gonna stay that way. Sorry, that's just the way it is. Um, but I am kind of excited about this one because like I said, this one's a little bit lighter. Um, it'll be a little bit lighter and it's just a standard engine. So some of you guys were a little apprehensive about the horizontal shaft and I get that. All right, so they give you oil 16 point or 13.5 ounces. And what PowerSmart does is the oil they give you, put it all in. So in the bigger engine, you're gonna have 16.9 ounce. And this engine, they're gonna give you this 13.5 ounce. This will fill your mower perfectly. So as a part of your unboxing, identify your oil and um, all of this goes into your engine. Okay. All of it. Uh, side shoot, right? This is just like the 209 CC um, four stroke self-propelled 22 inch horizontal shaft. It's just a different engine. Okay. So you got the same size bag about 1.6, 1.7 maybe. I'm not really sure, but it's a nice big bag with the hard bottom. You got your side chute, right? Same rules apply. Here's your book. 
and there's going to be two bolts and I'll show you that in a little bit. Um, where's my knife? Where's my knife? All right, let me come around here. Now, something to keep in mind with PowerSmart, they have a three-year warranty, okay? But if you got to send it back, you need to keep your box and you just fold it up and put it back in the box and contact them. They'll send you the shipping label and you send it back to them, okay? They'll take care of it under warranty and send it back to you. If it's not repairable, they'll send you a new one. So, just like just like anything else on the internet, but you got to have some patience. All right, so this is how your mower is going to come when it's in the box. So you can just pick it up out of the box, of course. Me, my back hurts, so I'm not picking anything up right now. It's easier for me to just do this. All right, so cut your zip ties off. Here's another one right here. Here's your gas cap. They got a little twisty on it. And remember, you have to put oil in this thing, okay? Please don't mess that up. They give you the oil. Please don't forget to put oil in your machine. Take off all these little stickers, all these little tags of stuff, these little safety items that they tell you about. That's what I'm telling you, okay? Right here it tells you Put oil in it. I think there might have even been a few cuss words in there. All right, so here is your fuel right here, and your fuel cap goes on right here. New fancy EPA approved fuel cap. Okay, here's your air cleaner right here. So you just push this and open it. And PowerSmart does a really good job of giving you air cleaners that you can wash and let sit out in the sun and dry. So once you buy a PowerSmart, you don't have to sit here and keep buying air filter elements, okay? This is your primer bulb, B-U-L-B, -B, primer bulb, that you can use this to prime it up, right? Gas, primer, carburetor, air filter, okay? Your handle, is much like any other handle. This must have fell off in shipping. This one's still on. Super simple. It's already here. Just unfold it and thread this. Okay. So if you want to fold up your mower, this is all you got to do. The opposite of what I'm doing right now. Okay. And then you got one on this side. I think everybody knows that. It's pretty basic. The good part about this part is you don't need tools. So if you want to fold it up, you can fold it up right here. Okay. Um, in your bag, they're going to give you a few items. And these items are meant to help you and make your life easier. Okay. A funnel for the oil. I'll show you guys that when we spin the machine around. Spark plug wrench, so you can take your spark plug out, clean it, replace it whenever you need to. Okay, comes with a little pipe here that you use. Little little leverage for torque. One cable holder. I'll show you how to put that on in a second. It just snaps in place. Two bolts that are Phillips head and or 10 millimeter. Okay. I'll show you where those go. That's what secures the handle in position. And it comes with your warranty book and your maintenance book. Um, or maintenance book, I'm sorry, and your user, user manual and your warranty right here. It explains it all to you. All right. They also have a pretty elaborate website that explains a lot of stuff to you. I'll link to their website uh, in my video description. Okay, so this is the 22 inch three in one gas self propelled lawnmower. That's what they call this right here. The model number is DB8622SR. Okay, right there. 
So looks like a bad little mower. 170 cc, self-propelled, 22 inch. That's pretty nice, I like that. I don't like 19 inch mowers. 20 inch mowers are kind of a pain. 22 inch is nice. That's fine, thank you, Amazon. Um, so now let me show you this right here real quick. You flip this up, make sure your cables aren't gonna get all caught up on the engine. There we go. You flip this up and it's just gonna fall in place right behind the back tire. You guys see this right here? You see where this is here and it comes like this? That's where you're gonna put these two bolts. And that's what's gonna hold your handle in place. It's already threaded in there. There's a little like grommet type deal sitting in there. You just drop this down and you drop this down. Exact same thing you do with the 22 inch. Uh, I'm sorry, with the 209 cc. All their mowers are the same. So if you're buying another mower, or a second mower, or what have you, they're all the same, all right? So you bring this here, tighten it, tighten it, 10 millimeter, finishes it up. Just kind of crank on it a little bit. 10 millimeter socket, or you can use a number two or number three Phillips head screwdriver, you know, the star one, okay? They give you this. And when you look at it, this is for your cable, you have a, a couple little things here. And that is to put a couple little cables here. All right, so you can grab one and two. And it's just meant, you just spread this out. It's just meant to keep your cables from getting caught all over everything, you know, little br brushes and stuff like that. And then you can snap it down and it holds it in place. Now, you can always add more zip ties if you need to, all right? Um, that's completely up to you. See, like, I don't, I'm not really thrilled with this rubbing the tire right here, so I'm gonna do that. Okay, so this is what I wanted to show you guys earlier. Let's maybe move this over a little bit, let it drop down, there we go. All right, so you got, you got one lever right here for your height adjustment, and it says high and low. So back is high, and that's low, all right? So as you're adjusting the back, this bar hits the front to make it even. So it goes down to one and three eighths inch and as high as three inch, which I think it's higher than three inch, which is right there. I think that's actually a little bit higher than three inch. Oh, that is it right there. That's your maximum right there. Um, but that's, you know, that's up to you to decide how low. I like to cut my grass down to like two and a half, two and three quarter inches. So even though this is three inch, I'll have it down one or two clicks. Even on my other, my 209cc one, I'll have it down like one, one or two clicks down off of all the way up. And if all the way up is three inches, you wouldn't think that I would go two clicks down, but I do. I like that nice carpet look, but I don't want to burn my grass, but that's what makes sense. That's what looks good. Um, I like how PowerSmart's doing this cool smooth rim thing. Like they're making their machines look cool, right? All right, so don't forget your gas goes here, but your oil goes right here. Okay, they give you a nice little dipstick. Now when you get your machines from PowerSmart, they do run them and then they drain them. So you might see some residual oil in here, right? Don't be fooled, That's, there's no oil in this machine. They give you this oil for a reason and they give you the exact amount that you need. The whole bottle, the whole bottle. Rest assured, it's all gonna fit. And it's the perfect amount because that's what PowerSmart does for you. I'm telling you, they make it really nice. Owning their equipment is really a neat deal. Everything you need is right here, all included, ready to rock. Okay, one whole bottle goes in. Make sure your dipstick is clean before you put it in. Pull it out and check it. You got your high, you got your low, so you wanna make sure you put it in and you check it. I know it's gonna be like impossible to see on camera, but it's good. All right, um, this is the same deck as the 209cc one, as far as I can tell, so 
all you do with the, the bag attachment, is there anything square, thank you, is you just put these little hangers right here. You know, you lift this up and it goes right in front of the handle. It just falls in place. Nope, there is nothing square on this mower. Okay, I see I, ha I routed that cable in the way. Here we go. Okay, there we go. So you gotta be careful how you route these wires. Gotta make sure that you don't have them in the way of your bag attachment, which I did. Once you get everything situated, then you can zip tie them down and hold them in place. Uh, this one little hanger they give you is probably not going to be enough. All right, so there's your bag attachment installed. All right, and then your side chute right here just fits right underneath the spring. You got the two little bumps right there. Just put it right underneath the spring here, like so, and then bring it down by hand. And you see it actually right here. Back here, you can actually see it. There's your little side chute. So you can side chute and bag at the same time, which is a really nice feature because if you got like really thick grass or wet grass, you might not want to have it all trying to come out the chute and you might not want it all trying to go into the bag because it'll fill the bag up too fast. So you can kind of do both, kind of thin it out. It's a nice little deal. Take this off and that's bag only. Uh, or you can mulch it by just not having the bag or this and then you're bagging or you're mulching. That's why it's called three and one. So you can bag, it's one. You can side shoot, two. Or you can have none of this on and mulch, that's three. I say it's four and one because you can bag and side shoot at the same time. And that is nice. Uh, so that is it, guys. That's the 170cc Power Smart four stroke motor, or four stroke lawn mower, I should say. Um, so this one's actually already spoken for. A young lady's going to be coming for it uh, either this afternoon or tomorrow morning. So that's perfect. And I don't know if you guys have any more questions about it, but if you do, drop it in the comment section and I'll certainly help you out. Uh, but yeah. Oh, one more thing. On the handle up here is your guide for your rope so you don't have to bend down every time. There's probably styrofoam on the blade. Might not be able to do this. Oh no, I did it. Okay. There we go. Now you don't have to sit here and bend down every time to start it. It's right here. Your handle's right here. So they give you that. And you just loop it in. You just guide it in. You saw how easy I did that. And that's it, guys. One lever adjustment. Prime it up. Pull the cord a few times. And go mow. This is a very reasonably priced mower. Um that I think you guys will enjoy. And like I said, it does, all jokes aside, it does have your standard vertical shaft that most people are used to, most people know. Um, and 170 cc is not a bad size engine. So um, I hope you guys enjoy it. Go ahead and pick one up. I'll link to the PowerSmart Amazon store. So please check their stuff out. They got some really nice stuff. They even have, sneak peek, a 40 volt hand blower um, that they don't have listed on their website at the time of this filming. Now, by the time I publish this video, it might be. But at the time of this filming, they don't have it listed even. It's a secret, but it's coming out. And I got one right here in my garage, still in the box, ready to go. 40 volt with a four amp hour battery. So it'll last a long time. Uh, that, should be a, that should be a good one. All right, guys. I'll, uh, enough of my backside. Enjoy the mower. I hope you guys pick one up. Let me know what you think. And I'll see you guys on the next one.